Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at problem number 17 on section 3.3. This is a very visual problem whose aim is to give you a better understanding of the radian measure. And as you know, an angle whose measure is one radian is one that corresponds to an arc whose length is exactly one radius. So in this case they've taken the circle and they've broken it up into 0.2 radian increments so that's two tenth of a radius along the circle that's four tenth six tenth eight tenth one radius or corresponding to an angle of one radian that would be 1.2 radians 1.4 etc so now they want to know at least one angle one positive angle meaning measured counterclockwise whose uh, sign is negative 0.55. If you remember, on the unit circle, the sign of an angle corresponds to the y-coordinate of the point of intersection of the angle with the terminal side of the angle, I mean, with the unit circle. So if you look at the y-axis you see that these increments are 0.1 each because those are 10 equal uh, segments that the one unit has been broken into so if you can start at the origin and go down that's negative 0.1 negative 0.2 negative 0.3 negative 0.4 negative 0.5 and negative 0.55 will be pretty much where I've placed the ruler so we can see that there are actually two positive angles we can see one is starting here and going all the way to here that would correspond to a y value of negative 0.55 and one would be over here now the nice kind of symmetry that exists with multiples of pi doesn't really exist here so we have to see which one of these this angle here or this one here lends itself better to approximation and we can see this one lies pretty much exactly halfway between those two tick marks not quite as much with this one so we'll pick this one and we notice that right here we're at five radians so that would be 5.2 that would be 5.4 5.6 and then halfway to the next one will be 5.7 so that's where we get the, our answer of 5.7 radians for the one positive angle whose sign is negative 0.55. That should do it for this problem. So be safe till I see you next time.